Welcome back. It's time to escape to the action at Seminole Casino Amakli. It's Vegas style 24 7. Because just like Vegas, Seminole Casino never closes. It is pure entertainment anytime you want, and it is truly where paradise wins. The ever popular X Men are back. X Men Days of Future Past is now out in theaters and is no doubt one of the biggest movies oh, of the yeah, summer. Everyone's still talking about it. It is an all star studded cast, including the very beautiful Famke Jansen, who joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <gasps> How are you? We are good. So happy to have you here this morning. Thank Already you for a lot me. of talk about this movie, a huge summer blockbuster hit. So tell us about this latest X Men movie. We're going back to the future right or I guess should we say back to the past <laughs> however you say it both I guess back to the past and future potentially uh, <laughs> go see it it's really great it's it's one of my favorite of the X-Men um, franchise films that they've made so far it has a uh, different age you know of, of the same characters like Magneto is played in a younger and an older version and Doc, uh, Professor X the same thing uh, it's travels into the future, the past, we don't know, we have to see it, but there's many unexpected turns, as there have been over the last 14 years since the first X-Men movie came out. I've, I've been part of five of them, so I feel extremely privileged to have worked in, um, in, in so many of them, and it, they've just been wonderful. Uh, and especially for a character that has died as many times as Jean Grey has died, and been resurrected. <laughs> I know that's an exciting part that people are looking forward to as well. People are calling this the best X-Men yet out of all yeah. of them. I, I agree. I agree. I really think that, uh, you know, I mean, and, and, and we've seen, we've all seen, of course, the franchises that over time only get worse and, and become kind of laughable. But this one so seems to outdo itself, which is really great that, you know, by the time you, you get the number whatever this is between the Wolverine ones, probably nine or something, um, that they can still make them funnier and smarter than the, the ones prior to. And so introduce new characters or have younger versions played by, you know, from the same characters that we've seen already played by other people. And so, yeah, it's, and this, is, this one is really setting it up for um, future films with, you know, God knows which characters and what age versions of those characters and all of it. Very exciting. Well, and what is the secret? Why is this able to outdo itself? As you said, so many others have kind of mm -hmm. flopped. I don't know. I mean, my feeling about him always has been, and, and from the from the day we started shooting the first one, Brian Singer said to us, I, I don't want them to, I don't want these superheroes to be portrayed in the way that we've seen them. I want to, I want to make them real. They need to be humans that we can all relate to and then they happen to have superpowers. And that's kind of what they've done over the years with them, is that they're just outcasts, people who are different, people, and I think this is the reason why so many, why those comic books in general have been so successful, because it is about outcasts, people who don't fit into society, people who, who believe they're different and don't quite know how to fit in and whatever, and that's what the X-Men characters are. Then, of course, the added benefit of having all these wonderful superpowers makes them more attractive to watch. <laughs> but at least they're rooted in a reality so we can relate to these people. So I think that may have been the reason. And then the scripts are good and the directors are great. And, you know, that, of course, the whole combination of, you know, the actors that they've cast over the years, they've cast first-class actors, and I'm not talking about myself here, I'm just talking about, like, Sir Ian McKellen and Sir Patrick Stewart and, you know, all of these wonderful people over the years that they've, you know, with the whole new crop now, of course, um, Michael Fassbender, you know, just amazing actors. James McAvoy. And well, and you are included well, in that. <laughs> we were just talking about that. Why is it called just X-Men? We need to, to think Ladies. of There the are so many Ladies. <laughs> women, but I think this is sort of the men plural as in, uh, as in humans. <laughs> well, and we're talking about the men, and I'm just going to throw a name out there. Uh -huh. Hugh Jackman, I'm just going to put it out there. Amazing. What has it been I, like know, working I, with him? A real surprise, I think, that over the years that love story has has survived, you know, and in the way that my character has survived or died or re resurrect, been resurrected or whatever, but also that that love story has sort of become a through line for not just the X-Men films, but also the Wolverine uh, movies like last year when I, I was you know part of that film so it's it's really fun it, it, like I said they that's rooted in a reality of you know 
this this love story that these two people who would like to be together but really can't. Well, and you've had some fun scenes you got to work together with yes. him. Uh, and as we <laughs> close, what's next for you? Do you, I mean, is there anything else that can top this? I guess you're working on uh, a lot working right on now. I'm taking but... three at the moment mm -hmm. um, with uh, uh, Liam Neeson again and the same cast as before. And, but uh, in addition, we now have Forrest Whitaker and um, we have Dugway Scott, who I've been working on uh, Hemlock Grove for the last two uh, seasons. Hemlock Grove airs on July 11th. <coughs> so I'm just about to start a press tour for them. And then I'm adapting a novel. I, I wrote and directed a movie. Uh, that came out two years ago called Bringing Up Bobby with Mila Jovovich and this will be my second movie that I'm going to direct called JR. So I'm just trying to keep busy and just feeling lucky and grateful every day that I, I get to be around and work in this amazing business. Well you seem to be uh, keeping yourself pretty busy so we can't wait to see your next project come out. Pretty thank excited you for very it. much. Well thank you so much for taking some time with us this morning and congratulations again on all the success of the new X-Men Days of Future Past. Again you're beautiful always. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Have a great day. You too. For more info, you can always log on to our website, foxforemorningblend.com. Up next, from the hottest destinations to your suitcase essentials, we've got the 411 on everything you need to know about traveling this season.